So in this video we're going to see how we can bring in a new model into Lumion and uh, move from that point uh, in order to create a small cottage or complete a small cottage inside of Lumion. Now I'm working in the new Lumion, the Lumion Pro 10.3.2. Uh, if you have downloaded Lumion this would be the new Lumion version that you get. Essentially it's, it's the same, uh, you might see it a couple of different icons but essentially how it functions is the same so I'm just going to use it just because uh, this is on my desktop uh, this is on my computer I'm not remotely logging into another computer so it might be easier uh, in terms of lag uh, to, you know, to work in this environment so I'm using the newer version so if you see different icons don't be um, alarmed it's, it's just a newer version all right, so with that, let's go ahead and import our model that we just created. We created an FBX file. Um, it was on my desktop. And under the 3ds Max folder, I created FBX called Cottage 2 FBX. This is the FBX that I, uh, I need to import. So if it doesn't show up where you saved, maybe just drop it down and find the FBX. And then select the Cottage 2 FBX. All right. So select that and say open and uh, if I take a bit it's going to ask you uh, the model name I'm going to say it's, I'm just going to leave it as default uh, I don't have any animations in it so it's off uh, the others I'm just going to leave as default and I'm going to say ok and let's see there we go uh, it came in quite easily and as you can see uh, it's attached to your mouse so you can place it anywhere Where, when wherever you click it's going to be placed that on that point so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to place here once I place it, you get multiple options. So you can, if you have multiple houses, you can just uh, attach it uh, to create housing scheme of sorts as well. But in this case, I don't want a housing scheme. I just want one cottage. I'm gonna press Escape to move uh, away from that command, and that's our house. So I'm gonna uh, zoom in a bit. Uh, I'm gonna go to the ground low, and now I can see. As you can see, it's um, there's some grass here, so I might need to uh, just move it, Ted, move it just a little bit from the ground level, as you can see. So let's move it just a little bit above the ground level. Uh, it's already selected, so I'm gonna go select. I'm gonna click on move up. And I'm gonna use this small dot here to move it up just a little bit above the grass so that I don't have grass inside, and that's fine. And then uh, I think that that looks good enough. I can move in closer using my W key and my mouse, so I think that's, that's fine. I can only work with that. Now, the next thing is just to add our materials, um, that's quite easy. Uh, we'll start with the materials and then we'll move on to the entourage elements. So let's go ahead first and start adding materials. Go to the material uh, section and then select uh, which part you want to add the materials to. Uh, you select, uh, I've selected the walls and when you uh, select the walls it's going to show you the material library. Uh, you can add a billboard, you can add a, uh, an image of sorts here. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't, don't want to add an uh, image. I don't want to add a color. It's not going to be glass, so it's not going to be that. And uh, it's not going to be light maps, landscape, or anything else. Water, or anything else. So I'm going to go into these tabs here. It says indoor and outdoor. I'm going to go into outdoor and I'm going to say select a brick. And uh, that brick uh, doesn't really work for me. So I'm going to see what, what, what other options I have. So there are so many so many materials that you can add this seems well, fairly reasonable uh, let's see what else we have oh, that looks good as well this one i think this one uh, maybe not. Uh, there are other options if you want to like a jail cell or something uh, um, yeah, so many options um i'm gonna stick with this this is fine the, 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 this is gonna work Right, it looks a little bit unfinished, but that's that's the way that I want it to look like. And that's that. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a material to my windows. So let's do that. We go to uh, Indo and uh, is gloss. 
and I have different types of glass. It's kind of cool. Ah, that's the other thing. When you apply material, make sure that you apply the material. By the way, I'm gonna go back and apply the material and make sure that you save changes. Once you apply the material, make sure you save changes by clicking on this box here. Ah, uh, that's that. Next thing that I want to do is I want to add materials to this frame. So I'm gonna go back, select uh, while in the material editor, select the frame and go to indoor. I can have wood here, maybe outdoor wood. I have wood there as well. So there are different options of woods that I can try out. These are not I just want one black wood color, maybe something like that. Yeah, I think that that that, that probably would work. No pun in, intended. Uh, then I can go into gloss, oops, and uh, change that, select that material, and then go to gloss. I'm gonna add that. So see that applied quite nicely. You can see the inside and the reflections from outside. So that's that's pretty good. I'm gonna um, save changes, and as you can see, all the windows, oops, all the windows uh, got that material applied. And if you go uh, around. Um, but I just press uh, O and I use my right mouse button. Everything got applied the same material, so that's that's pretty good, I think. And then I'm gonna add material to this uh, still as well. So I go to uh, let's go to this wood and let's see if we have any good options. Ah, that's not gonna work. I think maybe the outdoor one is the one that we should, we should go with in terms of wood. So try out try out uh, different types of. Uh, so I think I might go with the same same wood because um, it kind of makes sense, right? To have to have the same kind of wood. Yeah, I think that's that's good enough. So that's that. And uh, the roof. Let's do the roof uh, then. Outdoor. You can go to roofing and uh, find. And something um, appropriate. Ooh, again I made that same mistake with the prisma. There you go. And uh, I'm gonna select the roof and then go to outdoor and then go to the roof and material. Now that's fine. And uh, let's see if that works. Yeah, I think that's okay. The only issue with that might be that if you move here, if you this side it's gonna see uh, the back is fine see the back is okay the the top is the only issue right but that's okay we don't we're not gonna take windows from the outside so that shouldn't be an issue um, it's okay and then let's go in and uh, make changes here I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna select the, the bottom and go to outdoor. Make this concrete. Let's make it concrete. Uh, where is that concrete? It's called stone. Let's do a pavement stone. Um, something like that. Or something like that. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. And then inside, I'm gonna add wood. Window. I'm gonna make it wood. Oop. Let's select that first. Window, wood, and then can add whatever wood finish you want. Test it out. You can go inside. Let's go inside. So that's yeah. That wood uh, doesn't. Uh, let's see. That looks fancy, but. Something. Uh, I think that's. That looks good for a potty, so uh, I think. Like the plank. Try it out. Try out different things and see what what works for you. Uh, but for me, this is. I think this is fine. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add. Um, let's select the wall and again add different finish. Uh, make it brick. I can make it a different brick, or I can make it a completely different material itself. So I can make it um, stone if I want to. 
looks similar. Oh, I it looks quite different, so that's fine. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make this go uh, go to wood and add the same wood material that we had. So that's that. Then I'm gonna add tile to this and select the flow and go to window and tiles and the so better tile. Inside. I think that's gonna loop. So this actually popped out a little bit, did it? No, I thought I saw something on the side. Apparently not. There we go. Um let's change the material. Oop, let's go there. What's there? There are different tiles as you can try out. Um, as you can see, that looks dirty. It looks dirty as well, but I think that's. I don't know, I can come make up my mind on which tile I'm going to use. I'm going to use this dirty tile, that's, that's, yeah, that's okay. And uh, that's that. And uh, here we have another door here, so I'm gonna change that door as well. Uh, let's select that out door and um, wood. And that's the door that we had. So I'm just gonna use the same thing. Uh, and then this wall here, let's make it. Uh, what happens if we do it? Well, that kind of looks weird. Let's do this uh, the same uh, same stone wall. What was that? Yeah, something like that, right? It's okay. I can't remember which one that is, but it's okay. Ah, ready? I can just select it and see which one bricks. It was a brick. So let's change this. We'll go here. So it's only brick. There we go. Ah, that matches up nicely. So that's good. Alright. Then the ceiling. Let's do a ceiling. Indo. Um, curtains, plaster. Let's do plaster. And uh, ceiling. Oof. Uh, made a mistake here. Let's go back to our door brick. I, I forgot to unselect this. There you go. Uh, ceiling selected, then go window and plaster. Ceiling, let's see what that is. If so ceiling tile, plaster, plaster. So, gypsum wallboard ceilings, they look horrible. Um, you can do a fancy ceiling if you want to, but let's uh, try out different things. And I'm fine with wire. I can do a wood ceiling as well. But I'm just gonna leave it at plaster. Oop, I think that's fine. Um, yeah, that looks that looks okay. I think. So now that we added the material, all the materials are added to our building. Everything uh, seems to look okay. I think. And uh, the next thing is to add our furniture. So I'm gonna go and. Uh, you can bring in your piece of furniture separately if you want to, or you can just bring it uh, together. Oh, we should have these. So let's, let's select our glass and add some glass there, a glass there. That's the one. Yeah. Make this glass as well. And uh, let's make these something. Those wires, we need to make it something. Um, I don't know. In an Indo, um, uh. oh, I selected the ceiling. Let's see. Ceiling plaster return. Oh. I'm gonna select the the wire, and let's make it leather. So. We just need it to be something that's that's different. So, uh, so 
as you can see navigation is still an issue for me once you get used to the, the environment that makes it easier kind of so let's go here da, 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 da. so that's it all the materials are applied now the next thing is to add furniture and uh, finally add lights and uh, add other on-crowd elements so let's take a look at that in the next video